on in the place. All right, so we have our shock cord mount in here. And just gave it a tug. I reached in here, grabbed the string, and gave it a tug. And that seems to be the epoxy is really taking hold in there. So that's what we want. I'm just checking it in the lights off camera, and it looks like it's in there pretty well. What I've done is I've taken our shock cord, and it's about eight foot long. I folded it in half, so our ends are even. All right, so we have our even ends here. And I took all the twists out of it. All right, so I have my two pieces running flat against each other. And it's like that all the way down. There aren't any twists in here. There aren't any knots. There looks like a twist, but when you straighten it out, it's fine. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end and I'm going to work it. And you may have to, uh, you know, in the process of getting it looped around your shock cord mount, um, you may have to just even these back up again. But I'm going to get the end uh, looped around our shock cord mount. I might just put one end in, pull it through, and uh, work through it that way. And then we're going to attach one end around the shock cord mount and the other end is going to go through this eye bolt that we put in our payload compartment. So now we'll have our payload compartment and our main airframe attached and uh, we'll be ready to put our parachute in. So uh, let me get started with this. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to work one end of this into our loop let me place there and use a stick here. Take a little patience, but we'll get it there. Okay, there we go. Let's bring this back up to me. So right now, it's hard to see, of course, as I'm looking into the tube, but I've managed to get the elastic band, our shock cord, through the loop. I just got to work it back up toward me. So if you have some patience, you can do this. You know, I've been working on this for about a minute and and after about a minute's worth of work there we go so I'm pulling this through and you know I can do it this way as well So I've got half of that. That's halfway. So you look and see that I have my ends. Once again, I want these flat. I want these flat together, no twists. And I get my ends evened up. There we go. My ends are evened up. Snug this up like so. So that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape on this to help me keep everything even so it doesn't doesn't spin around on me in there. Okay. So that like so. Good. So the next step, I'm going to attach this to our eye bolt. That's on our payload compartment. Let's roll this around. Slide those through there. So once again, attach it through. I have these even. Notice my surfaces are straight. My ends are fairly even. And I'm going to just loop this through. It's like I'm tying a shoe. Loop it through once. Pull it tight. And I'll loop it back around the other way, like a square knot. So I'm looping this back around the other way. There's my square knot. Pull that tight. Okay. It's, yeah, that's good and tight. And then I also take some tape. I'm just gonna take some tape and wrap it. Wrap these all together. And I do that really just because it makes me feel a little bit better about keeping things nice and neat in there. So that's not going anywhere. This is nice and secure. 
if you want you can always put a little more glue on there just be careful not to glue your shock cord all right so now we have our shock cord assembly we have this payload compartment hanging from this end we have the other end inside our rocket next step is we go about two feet so where's my ruler we go about two feet down there's one and two and about two feet down we're going to put a big looping knot in our shock cord so once again i make sure everything is nice and together all lined up no twists and pull everything through all right so there i've made a loop about two feet down in our shock cord notice my two layers are together and what we're going to do with this is use it to hook our parachute into our shock cord so i'll show you how to do that in just a second our parachute is an 18 inch parachute the larger the parachute you have the slower the rocket will descend back to the ground however if there's a slight breeze it'll carry it'll just drift like a kite so the 18 inch parachute is a good size for these rockets and what i'm going to do is just get all my lines and i'm going to make it so they're not tangled i'm going to pull them all together like so so i can arrange them so they're not crisscrossed at all I just i got here so that one looks good and let's see That one looks good. That looks pretty good. All right, so I have all my lines. And what I'm gonna do is I have all my lines together, real simple. I take all these lines and I slide them through the loop I just made. There they are. And I take my parachute. I'm gonna slide it through those lines and pull it tight. And now my shock cord and my parachute are locked together. I'm not going to put my parachute into my body tube just yet. I want to make sure that epoxy is good and dry in there. I make sure the epoxy is good and dry before I slide my parachute in. If not, you can end up with an issue with your parachute getting glued and that can cause problems with your recovery system. Your parachute is your recovery system. So if you're speaking with the judges and they ask you to uh, tell them what your recovery system is, your recovery system is your parachute. Um, so let's just take a peek at what we have here. We have our body tube. We have our shock cord hanging down. Our shock cord is attached to our payload compartment. And the simple little twist right out. There we go. And notice our shock cord, our lines are nice and straight. There's no uh, twists in these lines. You want to keep it as neat as possible. The payload compartment. The payload compartment, we should have enough space for this to slide down into do another light sanding to get so the rocket will slide this will slide down the top part of this rocket the payload compartment and the nose cone will slide down into the main airframe i'm not going to put everything in inside right now because the epoxy is still drying but this will eventually slide right down in there we know our shock